Today, we're going to look at using a MobiLink TNC with Woad. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Now, there's a couple of questions that you may find yourself asking. The first one being, what in the heck is Woad? Well, Woad is WinLink on an Android device. And it's simply an app that we can use on an Android device to make WinLink connections. And the second question you may find yourself asking is, well, why would I want to go that route? Why would I want to do that to begin with? And again, the answer is very simple. It allows you to put together a very compact kit like this that will allow you to do WinLink connections in the field using nothing more than a cell phone and a small HT. In this case, we're going to be using the FT5 by Yezu. And the whole reason I put this kit together is because I was looking for the most compact kit I could possibly assemble to be able to do WinLink connections. Now, don't feel left out if you're an iPhone user. My primary cellular device is an iPhone. What I wound up doing was picking up a prepaid Android phone for a little bit of nothing. And I'll leave links to some down in the description below. But even if you're an iPhone user, pick up a simple prepaid Android phone. I didn't even bother connecting mine to cellular service. I just used Wi-Fi to connect to the internet to be able to download the Woad app and the other apps that I needed for this setup. But let's go ahead and jump over to the bench and take a look at what's involved in getting everything configured. Okay, so the first thing we want to do before we get started is we want to go ahead and take a look at the MobiLinked settings. So we'll use the MobiLinked app on our phone. We'll go ahead and open that up and we'll just click connect. Now, if yours won't connect right here, and I'm going to choose the TNC3 since that's the one we'll be using today. If yours won't connect right here, you need to make sure that the MobiLinked is paired with your phone first. Now, we've got a couple of critical things here that we want to check. I'm going to take a look at the output settings first, the audio output settings. You'll need to make sure that you've got the correct PTT style selected for your radio. And then uh, you can kind of play with these. Look at the documentation for MobiLinked a bit more for information on setting this output volume. But if you simply click transmit right here, you should see your radio go into transmit mode. You'll also see the MobiLink TNC over here. When I click transmit, we get that nice red light on there indicating that that is set correctly. Now, we also need to take a look at the input settings. Now, this is where this meter here is what you're going to use to to adjust your input volume level. I'm going to adjust the uh, level on my radio and I've turned it up and you can see that this is no longer flickering red. You do need to have your squelch open and then you want to set the radio volume so that it flickers uh, on the rightmost red channels. Uh, oops, close that out by mistake. So what we want to do is we're going to start bringing the volume down until we've just got a flicker right here indicating that we've got the volume set correctly. You may need to use uh, this attenuator here at the bottom uh, if you can't cut your volume down low enough. But now that we've got that set correctly, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from the MobiLinked TNC with the app. And we'll just go ahead and close that out. Now that we've got that set correctly, let's go ahead and open up the Woad app. Now, if this is your first time to use the Woad app and you just downloaded it and installed it on your device, you do need to go through and do some initial settings. From the main menu, go ahead and click the three little dots up here in the top corner, and let's click on Settings. In this screen, you can go ahead and enter your call sign, leave the SSID at zero, and enter your WinLink password. These other options down here, you can configure as you need. Once you've got everything entered the way you want it, go ahead and click the back button. We'll go ahead and click right here and we'll take a look at sessions. Now these are some of the previous sessions that I have set up. I've got three different ones right now for RF and one for Telnet. But let's go ahead and create a new one. So right down here, you've got three little buttons at the bottom of the screen. We're going to click on that and click Add. 
the first thing we need to do is give the session a name. So I'm going to take out session and we'll just use video for the name here. The protocol is going to be the next thing that we select. Now with the uh, MobiLink TNC, that's always going to be a packet connection. So we'll open that up and choose packet. The, out, uh, the type is going to be outgoing. And then we need to choose the gateway that we want to connect to. Now, Wode will always pull in the settings from your most recent time that you created your session. But in this case, I don't want to connect to my own gateway. We're actually going to set this up for another gateway. So we'll click on that. And then for the destination address, let's click on that. And then let's click on RMS channel selection. And this will bring up a list of gateways that you can connect to. So I'll go ahead and choose the second one there on the list, WC4EOC-8, and we'll use the check mark down here in the bottom to save that information. Once we've got that, let's go ahead and click the back button, and we'll take a look at our TNC settings right here. I have not changed any of these. These are all still the defaults that were in here when I first opened this up. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through these. If you need to pause the video here and take a look at these more closely, feel free to do so. Let's go ahead and click the back button again. Our TNC type is going to be KISS. And then we need to choose the TNC configuration. Now, first thing we need to do is choose the connection type. In my case, this is Bluetooth but you can see that this will also work over USB and TCP IP. So I'm going to leave Bluetooth connected or I'm sorry, selected right there. Let's go ahead and look at the configuration and under device. We want to click on that and it depends on which one of these I've got paired up at the time. Right now I am using the TNC3 so I'm going to leave that choice selected there. So I'll just click cancel there and under settings uh, that just takes us over to our Bluetooth settings. We really don't need anything right there. Let's go ahead and click back again and let's take a look at device manufacturer. Unless you're using a Kenwood radio, you're probably going to select generic right here. So we'll leave that as it is. And I believe that has got everything in the KISS connection section taken care of. We'll go ahead and click back again. So it looks like we're completely done with this. Looking back at this, this kind of gives you a brief synopsis of everything that we've tackled. And that should be the end of it. So let's go ahead and click the back button again. You'll get a message down here that the session has been saved. So now we're going to click on that new session. And then we're going to click the play button right down here to make that connection. You'll be able to see it running right here. And as it goes to transferring messages back and forth, you'll see that happening right here in the window just to the right. You'll also be able to see that the MobiLink TNC is flashing red when it's transmitting. And guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to get set up and running with Wode and the MobiLink TNC. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.